Welcome to the line-out throw. To begin with, this duty usually falls with the hooker on the team. In the modern game, the ball must travel at least 5 metres and be dead straight. Anything less results in a change of position. A teammate, usually a dominant lock, will take charge of the line-out and relay the call to the hooker. The hooker should throw the ball into the space for the jumper to meet, not the other way around. And once the throw is complete, the hooker should fall back into regular play. Let's talk about technique. Arrive at the line-out site early and take your time to prepare your throw. Hold the ball in two hands with fingers across the seams. This allows for generating a tight spiral. Plant your feet at shoulder width apart and focus on activating the large muscle groups in your body. The legs, glutes and core, then finish with shoulders and arms. Stand tall, lift your chin and raise the ball behind your head. Be sure to keep your elbows close to your ears. Sight the space you want to hit and complete the motion. Release the ball and follow your fingers to their target. Plant your feet at shoulder width apart, hands across the seams of the ball. Raise the ball behind your head, stand tall and sight your target. Activate the large muscle groups in your body and prepare to throw. Generate power from below, finish with your shoulders and arms. And finally, follow your fingers to their target. Now we're going to take a look at some point of view angles from the hooker's perspective. Remember the technique. Set feet at shoulder width, hands across the seams. Then raise the ball above your head and keep your elbows tucked in. Engage your legs, glutes and core for power generation. Sight your target and throw into the space that the jumper will occupy. Finish with your shoulders and arms at the release and follow your fingers to the target for increased accuracy. In summary, remember that power comes from the large muscle groups and simply finishes with the shoulders, so try not to throw only using your upper body. Sighting the space the jumper will occupy gives you a target to hit, and make sure you follow your fingertips to this space. But most importantly, remember to throw the ball straight and at least 5 metres from the sideline. Here's a useful tip, practice makes perfect, so when you can, practice throwing against a goalpost to increase your accuracy. Well, that's all for the line-out throw. We'll see you for the next skill video very soon. Cheers.